The US Cutter Laser Point is a contour cutter. You might be asking, what is a contour cutter? Contour cutting is a process that allows the perimeter of an image to be isolated and then exactly cut, separating the printed image from the excess material. If you're interested in creating printed wall decals, stickers, or even t-shirt designs, you will need to understand this process exactly. Let's get started. We begin here, on the desktop of our computer. I'm going to assume you've already installed SignCut Pro, our cutting software, and Inkscape, our design software. If you have not, please refer to designing with Inkscape and cutting with SignCut Pro, located on our YouTube channel, US Cutter Videos. Go ahead and launch Inkscape so we can make our sticker design. I have a digital picture that was emailed to me by a customer that I'm going to load into Inkscape, but before I do that, I need to load SignCut Pro's contour cutting template. This template includes registration marks in each corner of the workspace. I want to place my art within this template and within these marks. The templates for contour cutting are located in your SignCut Pro installation directory. There are four templates representing four different page sizes, letter, legal, A4, and A3. You will choose one of these sizes based on the ability of your printer. We are going to use the letter size template. It may be useful for you to copy these files into a more accessible place, like a folder on your desktop marked Contour Cut Templates. As we indicated before, this template has a registration mark in each corner. Now I will go to File and select Import. And I will select the file with my art in it. Wow, this photo is extremely high resolution. I'm going to go ahead and do a little manipulation. And hopefully, get this file compatible with our template. L let's rotate the object. There we go. We want to make sure it fits within these marks and doesn't challenge their location. All right, there we go. With the art smartly placed, we need to create two layers by using the layer control window. First, create a new layer called print and assign our print graphic to that layer. You will need to cut and paste the print graphics into the new layer for it to associate with that layer. So we'll go up here and hit plus, type in print, it's the name of our layer, hit add. Then what we want to do is use the select tool, select our image, let's hit control X, we'll cut the image out of the uh, work area, we'll click on the layer print and we'll keep click control V on our keyboard for paste and our vehicle should paste in there it is let's get that good placement in between the marks again there is our print layer go back to the uh, layer control win window and hit plus again and let's type the word cut and we'll create our cut layer our image is located on the print layer if you use the uh, eyeball tool here on the layer, you can actually see I can actually hide the print layer at will. We're close, but we're not done yet. We need to create a cut line around our printed graphic so that our cutter knows exactly where to cut. There are a few ways to skin this cat. You can simply draw a cut line around your graphic. That's what we're going to do today. Or we can use the trace bitmap tool located in the path menu. 
this is an advanced process and is demonstrated in designing with Inkscape and cutting with SignCut Pro, located in our YouTube channel, US Cutter Videos. Use the pen tool in Inkscape and quickly draw a line around the perimeter of the car. This is our pen tool. I'm going to go ahead and, and I want to do a line. I want to get the perimeter of the car, but I also probably want to try and use, I want to get it as close to the car almost so that the car bleeds out over the line. That's going to create the most impressive decal later. I'm going to start here at the bottom of the car in the shadow. Boom. Boom. And, and don't worry about being exact. There's a lot of curves here. You're not going to be able to get that right off the bat. After we make our basic perimeter, we're going to be able to manipulate the cut line and make it curve to follow the perimeter to be more exact. This is really purely for demonstration. But we're actually, it's coming out pretty good here. And there it is. We've got a complete cut line around the car. You've got the basic perimeter established. If you do find yourself wanting to more exactly tune your perimeter, you want to use the node edit tool up here. And what you want to do is there's, there's three different methods to the node edit tool. If you look down at the bottom at the status bar, you'll see it says drag to shape the path. Click to select only this node. It says more shift control alt. By holding shift or control or alt, while clicking on the node, you can get a different node editing effect. If you hold down shift, for instance, I'm going to click on this node by the wheel, you'll notice, boom, I can get a curve out of the node. And I can make it kind of shape to the wheel. So if you want to go through and edit more uh, on your contour line, it's really easy. You just, take, especially if you're trying to use curves, um, you just click the node, hold shift, and you kind of just pull it out and you can kind of curve the line and that'll create a better contour cut later on. Now that we have a perfect vector cut graphic, go ahead and hide the new layer containing the cut graphic and execute a print of just the print graphic, just like I'm doing now. Load the pen plotting tool that was an accessory with your laser point and stick a sheet of 8.5 by 11 regular paper into the cutter. Sign cut should load just like this with your cut graphic ready to go. You will want to go to the special cutting menu and select simple contour cut. If you have not recently calibrated the distance between your blade and laser, then you should select yes and calibrate now. This will only help make sure your contour cuts are very accurate. Once you do this, you should not have to do it again for quite a while. Go ahead and hit OK and allow SignCut Pro to plot an alignment site on the paper. Once it's done, you will see a control screen appear, allowing you to control the movement of the cutter's carriage. You should use the arrows on your keyboard and get the laser as close as you can to the dead center of the alignment site. Once you are as close as you can get to dead center, assuming you're, you are not able to get exactly dead center, try using the arrow keys while holding down the ALT key. This steps down the movement, allowing greater control and more exact placement. Once you are dead center, hit finish. Now you can go ahead and start your alignment. If you look at the illustration, on the right side of the toolbar in SignCut Pro, it indicates how you should insert your sheet considering the orientation. If you insert the sheet in the wrong orientation, your contour cut will not execute properly. It's important to place your print graphic sheet with crop marks clearly to the left of both the blade and laser located in the carriage. You want to avoid placing the sheet so the crop marks are not beyond the reach or set origin point of the cutter. Otherwise you will not be able to align with those marks and hence not be able to contour cut. 
Now we are ready to contour cut. Follow the on-screen instructions in sign cut, and just like when we did our alignment, we are using the arrow keys incrementally to align the laser on the cutter's carriage with the rightmost registration mark on our print graphic sheet. Once you have perfect alignment, hit next and if things are progressing properly, the carriage should advance in the general proximity of the leftmost registration mark, requiring only minimal movement to align the laser with the mark. Hit next and again the carriage should advance towards the right bottom mark. Do whatever slight adjustment is needed to align with this final mark and hit cut out. As you can see, we've completed our contour cut. We only cut this single decal, but the process is completely scalable, and you can set up jobs that include hundreds or even thousands of contour cuts. Thanks for watching.